This is a turbo jet, a crazy engine that started off the jet age. And here's how it works in under 60 seconds. First of all, we need to understand what engines really do. I mean, obviously they produce thrust, right? But how do they do so? It's pretty simple. The working principle of an engine is Newton's third law. For every action, there exists an equal and opposite reaction. And that is literally what they do. They push a lot of air backwards and the plane gets pushed forwards. Okay, that was easy. But the real question is, how does the turbojet accelerate all this air backwards? Well, unfortunately for the ecosystem, we're gonna need a combustion reaction. We could summarize this process in three different stages. A compression, a combustion, and an expansion. In the compression, we obviously compress the air. This will make for a much more energetic and explosive combustion later on. Think about it like a soda can. The more you shake it and build pressure inside, the bigger the explosion is when you pop it open. After that, we get the combustion, where we obviously insert fuel into the air and ignite it, generating a chemical explosion that accelerates the air backwards. Lastly, we get the expansion, where we take this high energetic air and take it back to regular ambient pressure while we accelerate it. We do this with a device called a nozzle. An interesting fact about this process is that during the expansion, we will introduce a turbine. This turbine will get spun by the high energy moving air. And with this spinning, it will generate energy powering the compressor, which was the thing that compressed the air at the beginning of the process, generating a loop. That's the cool thing about turbojets. This design worked so well, and it is the basis for so many of the plane engines we got today. But it presented a problem once we approached the speed of sound. But that will be for a different video. We'll see you in the next one.